When you read Gravity's Rainbow, they talk about how paranoia is this state of thinking everything is like connected or like seeing connections where maybe there aren't any. It's just like I always see that and I just want to always make that connection. Just the bridging of like different discourses to each other. materials themselves can be pretty inspiring for instance like this project just came out of the fact that I had access to spare piano parts how can I make something with them so it's just like me exploring the properties or like the the limitations or the edges the boundaries or how, how far I can push this medium and what it, its capabilities are The advantage of using sound over visuals is that, you know, visuals almost always have like a reference. Like you look at anything and then there's always going to be like a slew of associations with it. Like cultural baggage, I know what kind of emotion this is supposed to elicit or with sound, I think there's a little bit more unexplored territory and freedom in sound. I try to think about creating a space where you don't know how to enter the sound necessarily and how to approach it and enjoy it or hate it even. I think in these kinds of moments of confusion, not knowing or not thinking, I think that's really great. the other one. Sound is uh, invisible, but it's very tangible. Sound dissipates, it doesn't really exist. Like, so sound can only exist in a social context. Sound is just such a mysterious, cool fucking medium to work in, yeah. I love novelty and discovery. For instance, taking the bare piano wire and marrying it with a bow or marrying it with you know, a mallet or something like that, and then like getting unexpected results, like that is such a great feeling. It's just like you're discovering something, like you're doing something new for the first time. I guess that's like the kind of attitude I wish people would take into just doing things. It's like doing things for the sake of just having something new happen, something, just doing something instead of having it uh, fulfill some sort of function. should not be instrumental or, or like have a direct function you know when you're like oh this is my job like I don't want to veer off course like I want to do what I intended to do I think it comes from this like capitalistic drive that like I frame everything in what this is valued at what it's worth right so it's like important to do stuff that is not worth anything Like, what is the intention of art? It's kind of like beautiful that it's like so open-ended like that.